Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. You can see over there in the distance, the first of our general purpose machines has been set up, and I just held shift to sprint. I've been playing too many shooters recently. We have a pulverizer here. We have a collection of stuff in our inventory. One of these needs to go in there. There we go. So we're getting started on Applied Energistics, because our storage is a mess and it needs fixed. So, the first thing we need to do is make some Fluix Crystals. Now these... Oops. Are surprisingly fun to make. Yep. A Nether Thought Quartz, a Charge Set as Quartz, and a Redstone in water. And a couple of crystals pop out. Beautiful, that. Then we need to dupe that to dupe. That gets us a fluix dust. And then if we that's that's the one we're looking for. And if we toddle over here out pop our seeds. Now the problem is those take an age to grow. We don't really have an age, but I'm sure there's a quest for that. Get 16 extra Fluix Dust and some more quests. Yeah, Growth Acceleration and Inscription. Good out. Let's bung these in here for now. And take a look. So, Growth Acceleration. Place a Crystal Growth Accelerator next to a water block that has an AE seed in it, blah 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 blah. That's not a thing we want to do, but we need to make them. So. And. A charger. So for this, we're looking for these two things. Charger's pretty easy. Two Fluix Crystal. So we're going to go. Quickly whip up some more of that. Because I mean, they don't actually have that much. Hmm. 12 quarts, all that'll do. Now, if I zap that. Uh, what's going to happen? If I zap it, I will get another quartz. Good. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, let's grab the rest of the redstone we need. Let's be the charged Certus rather than the standard Certus. But we will soon have a charger to make our own. Grab what's in there. There we go. Now we come in here, and you are going to hear in a moment one of the most satisfying noises. in Minecraft. Beautiful. Beautiful noise. So now we have a butt-ton of Fluix crystals. We can make the charger. Easy peas. Then a crystal growth accelerator is a bit harder. We need a fluix block. Which is four of these lovely fluix crystals. We need four iron, two quartz glass, and two fluix cable. I said four. So, quartz glass. Five dust, four glass, nice and easy. Uh, this is something we're going to need quite a lot of, so not going to mess about. I'm just going to make an entire stack all at once. That's wrong. It's four stacks. We'll just make what we can get. So it turned out to be a full stack anyway. And then 
Flux cable is quartz fiber and flux crystals. Quartz fiber is glass and dust. Now we are now short on glass, which is a shame. We're going to gather some lava. May just fill up the tank at some point. Yeah, gather a bit of lava. Uh, get a couple of stacks of sand. And make glass. But lest we forget, we do have another furnace. And this one works on solar power. That's all we needed. Uh, well. We had the dust, that would be all we needed. That makes some quartz fiber. Then we'll need plenty of this. So we'll just make that. And make that. And there we go. This quest done gets us a pure Certus Quartz, which is what you grow from seeds. Then there's this, the Growth Chamber. That's what we really want. If we look at this... You see we need six of those Crystal Growth Accelerators. That's not cheap. And we could possibly do it though. If we're lucky. We need that. We need four iron for each, so that's twenty more iron. Good. Uh 10 quartz glass and 10 flux cable. Told you we'd need it all. There we are. Now I just need a hopper, a chest, and another flux cable. Well, thankfully, at least one of those is easy. Doop, 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 doop. Doop! We don't actually have any. Oh no, we've got a couple. So we've got quartz fibers ready for when we need them. There we go. Chest. And a hopper. Pretty simple, this one. Two chests, wearing one there. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. One crystal growth chamber. Now we're just gonna lay a quick bit of cable to power this. And set your things to null. Uh aren't you getting power? I don't think that could be powered like that. Do I need um bugger, what's it called? There's a block I can use. Energy acceptor. Four iron, a flux crystal, four quartz glass.
Boop. So let's do this. Uh, you can go. You can go. Well, it's good that we have such an amount of iron. There we are. On energy acceptor. And now it's alive, look. And what we can do with that beauty... By... Get enough sand to seed those. And that was those. Dump all our seeds in there. And they're growing. Nice and simple. So we wait a moment, and they will have turned into fully fledged crystals. Nearly there. Growth stage two. And there we are. Crystals. Just like that. And you can turn these. Uh cannot turn these back into dust. Right. That may have been wishful thinking on my part. And just for a comparison of the speed, these are still about halfway through their stacks. That one finished a while ago. Anyway. Bad quest is done. It's the pure nether quartz. No use right now. Inscription. <sighs> we need an inscriber. This is where it becomes a pain in the ass. Five iron, two sticky pistons, and a bit of quartz. Really, every time. Every bloody time. Uh, do I just record at the wrong time? Hmm, this one might actually be an important email. Oh well. It can wait. Anyway, sorry about that. That uh, looks like everything we... Oh, slime. Right. Make them sticky. We use slime balls. Good grief. Right, that's what I wanted. You notice there you can use rubber from rubber trees. Very handy. However, we don't need to take those steps. And we have an inscriber. Go okay, boop this there. It is not receiving power because it's a special snowflake. There we go. One inscriber. Now we need a set of four presses. This... This is where it gets a bit expensive. So we need to go reclaim our sieve, first of all. Which I left in a box down here. Let's just pop you in there, take you out. Going up. So you see here there are four... well, we don't need the name press. But we need a calculation press. It's easy enough, you pour an ingot of lead into an empty casting table. I get the feeling that the quest book just lied to me.
Anyway. Zap that quickly. You are tin. Your copper. And your nickel. Unfortunately, the way these ingots are at the minute is ex nihilo ingots. The smeltery won't accept them. <clears throat> if I pulverize them into the dusts, however, the smeltery will have zero fucks to give. So. Uh, I can put you, you, and you in together without causing a meltdown of everything. Obviously, can't put copper and tin in together. That would end badly. And I apologize for the noise. I need to take a quick drink. Much better. So, stop pouring those out. There's one. There's two. There's three. And I finished the quest and it gets us an engineering press, so I didn't actually need to make that one. Actually, I will just re output the ingot, because that's what the tin one does. And that got us some futomaki, which is food. Restores one and a half shanks. I believe it's some kind of sushi. Probably. That doesn't belong in there, you fool. Thankfully, these barrels are not quite so fussy about all dictionary values. And it just takes it. And then, we're onto the basic network. This is the beauty, the power, and the pain of applied energistics. Good God, pardon me. So, a drive, a storage cell, and a terminal. Do eventually want. Uh, one of these, which is a crafting terminal. Uh, and actually, I don't see a reason why I couldn't make that now. So, we need one calculation processor. Which requires pure certus. That's why we're struggling. I get it. Alright, so this is something I'm going to need a lot of, so... I'll just make a ton of set of seeds. Uh, find the growth chamber. Bring those in. So yes. One calculation processor. And three logic processors. Now, somewhere around here, we got a quartz cutting knife last time. Gonna need that. Now, how do I get the bloody silicon? I've forgotten. Hmm. Really shouldn't have forgotten that. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How would you like... some yummy, yummy coal pellet? Very nice. That's going to keep that powered. I just need one more redstone. And one of my pure crystals. So.
How do we make... I know there's one in here, so... I can look at this. How do we make a processor? We need a printed logic circuit and a printed silicon circuit. A logic circuit is the inscriber press with a gold ingot. Basically, it's all these presses. So, logic with gold. Slowly but surely. Makes a printed logic circuit. Calculation with pure certus makes the calculation circuit. So these are basically the chips for you know your computery stuff. Just keep plumbing in these bits of silicon. And then, wang all that in, and out pops a calculation processor. Nice and easy. You sure what you use the fucking bolts quite for in this? Not much. Right. I think I was thinking of a different version of applied logistics. All our new pure Certus crystals are done. We'll go haul those over to the chest where they belong. And come back here in time to do the last one. So. Processors. I should really, while I'm here, I need two diamond ones. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, a cell. So another gold. Right. Uh. All that silicon is done. So, do any of these back out? Logic, and this time it's engineering. All the diamonds, as you're about to see. Makes us printed engineering circuits, as you would expect at this point. So that's those. Uh, build the logic. Nice and easy. And the silicon. And you'll see. There we go. Plug it all together. Make the circuits we need. You can eventually automate this and speed it up. Various upgrades and better machines. Thank Christ. Let's grab this last thing. There we are. Now. Drive is easy. Four iron, two cable. Done. Sell. Pretty easy. What's this? Redstone. Gets us one of those. Then the housing. Three redstone, three iron, and two quartz glass. Quartz glass. 
Okay, whoops. And then it's just terminal. So, need an illuminated panel. It's two glowstone, a redstone, an iron, and three quartz glass. That's Eulorium, but good job. Yeah. Gets three panels. Which we will one day need. Then... We need a formation core, which is a Certus, a Fluix Dust, and a Logic Processor. Ah! Going to be short on Fluix Dust. Is there an easy way to get Fluix Dust? Uh, no, just grinding Fluix Crystals. Well, time to show you the charger. In all its glory. Bastard. There we go. You put in charge Certus. You wait a moment. And out comes charge Certus. Pop in here for hopefully the last time. For a little while at least. Zap those, get our dust. Now we need one of you, one of you, so that gets us that, that gets us that, that gets us that, and I just need to add a crafting table. The most complicated thing in the world. Before I craft it, let's make sure it's completed the quest. Yes, good. Crafting terminal. Done. So. I'm gonna move this. Just for a moment. Uh. Pop it down that side. Trail the power along so that I can put the pulverizer. So that I can put the pulverizer there. The Emmy drive there. Go pick up some cable. Only need the one piece, thankfully. This drive bay is being powered, courtesy of this energy acceptor. One day we won't need those. Plug in our hard drive. You'll see 0 of 1024 bytes. Use 0 of 63 types. That will make sense soon. Green light shows that it's online. Put the panel on, and we have storage. So... I can take all this. And it's in the system. So what it does, it converts your items to energy. And stores them in the computer system. And when you want something back out, it converts it back to an item. There's a small power cost each time. But believe me when I say the power we're generating should be more than enough to handle it for now. So now we've got a lot of stuff in. You can see 32 types used, because there are 32 different items in there. 294 bytes, because there are a total of 294 items, in theory. 
So that worked out rather well. That is applied energistics. Moss stone, good, that completes a quest. An extra drive bay, very, well, an extra drive rather. Now, that one have completed one of these quests. Then I need to make a ball of moss out of this. Easiest thing in the world. And that's another quest done. Now what we're going to do with this ball of moss... Straight away, put it on our pickaxe. And our pickaxe will now repair in sunlight. How beautiful is that? So, let's start shifting stuff over here. All these chests. You see, one of those drive bays has turned orange. That means it's full of different types of items. It goes red if it's full on capacity. And we probably don't have enough storage in there yet to cover everything we've got floating around in these here chests. Might have. Who knows? No. See? We've run out, so we need to knock together quickly another uh, let's just fill it screw it, you only live once won't take us too long let's find our logic press that's the silicon press friend Yeah, we're just going to fill it up with all the stuff we can. Meanwhile, you'll see we unlocked a new quest in Applied Engineering. That should be for all the different interfaces. Terminals. Yeah, we need a storage monitor and an interface terminal. Both pretty easy to make. Uh, can please. We'll finish this, we'll get all the storage moved over. Uh, and then we'll call it a day. So I'm going to need 32 redstone and 32 service. And then 24 iron, 24 more redstone, 16 quartz glass, that's fine. Oh, and we do need 8 more redstone. And then 24, so actually, we need a full stack of that. And the quartz glass should be in here now. You'll see that this has multiple ways of sorting. You can sort it by number of items, which is how I usually have it. Just keep loading this up. Again, when we get an Im advanced inscriber, shouldn't be too far away. Nah, we can make that. Oh, we can make that now. You know what? I'm not in a rush. Are you guys? Nah, I didn't think so. Let's get everything we need for that. So it's two engineering processes. Nice and easy. Shoop, shoop. Whoop, whoop. Doop, doop. 
this should be the last time we need to use this. There we go. Two chunks of diamond. I'm going to do the... Why am I bothering? I have enough. That'll make a circuit. And then we do the other one. <clears throat> yeah, you usually want to skip past the base inscriber as fast as possible because it is awful. So, four iron, two hoppers, that's fourteen iron, two chests. Uh, eh, screw it. <sighs> Thanks. Another good thing is you can put one in, and for crafting purposes it will just pull out of there. We'll also pull out of your inventory sometimes. Uh, now I should have enough. Yes. It's a beautiful machine, this. Because it can do stacks. Literally, the only massive benefit is you don't need to hover over it and shift click if you're making a lot of something. And it can be automated, which is possibly the most important part. Most amazing bit of kit, this. There we go. Let's put it all together. And out come our logic circuits. Yes, in a mod that already makes so many things easier, they even make things within the mod easier. It really is a beautiful... This is one of the best mods in existence, in my opinion. Some will argue the more creative things like uh, bits and chisel, or chiseling bits, whatever it's called in 110. Um, yeah, it's pretty. You can do amazing things. But you can't have infinite storage. Uh... Take all of my things. Ew. Just give me the stuff. <sighs> Alright, and right now it's trying to return them to the computer, but there's no room at the end. So. Set a boot fix in that. <sighs> That's fine. There we go. You go in there. You go in there. Y'all! Go in there. And now all of our space issues, our storage woes, are over. Tons of storage space, infinitely expandable. As long as you have power, you can add more drive banks and more drives and bigger drives. And that is the basics of an ME system. We've accomplished good things here today. But, alas, 
Time is wearing on. So as we stare at the wonderful bounty of our new computer, that is where I'll be calling it a day. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.